We got to talk about chips. Uh, Micron was out with its numbers after the close yesterday. It's the largest U.S. maker of memory chips. And the company said last quarter its revenue was up 25 percent to about seven point eight billion dollars. Um, when you're looking at any of these companies, really, the forecast tends to be more uh, important for the share reaction. And the forecast is for sales of about eight point seven billion dollars versus an estimate of eight point two billion dollars. Earnings per share in the current quarter are also going to be better than analysts had been projecting. And it's interesting here, the company on the one hand is saying that PC shipments are going to be flat this year versus 2021. That's really traditionally been Micron's bread and butter business, the chips, memory chips that go into PCs and smartphones. But it's interesting, even though the number is flat, because devices now require more memory, right? Mm -hmm. They tend to. That still means that demand is going to grow, according to the company, for Micron's products. Uh, yeah, but by and large, Julie, this was a, a pretty good quarter for Micron. The street is rewarding the stock, makes sense. But there were red flags on this earnings call. Uh, and, and you could probably start to put together a written story, three or five companies that have already warned about potential problems this first quarter. And that appeared here uh, with Micron, noting that uh, they are seeing the impact of COVID-19 related lockdowns in China. And they're acknowledging that pre pre presents a risk to the global electronic supply chain. A lot of words there, but still uh, very concerning there as well. Also, they're seeing pressure in the supply chain from uh, the Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, these are some early commentary from companies that are reporting, but you have to think we're going to hear more commentary like this from very large companies in a few weeks when they report earnings. And here's a stock market, Julie, shaking all this stuff off, and maybe they need to pay more attention to it. Well, I guess the market didn't consider those red flags to be red flags when you got a sales forecast that's above estimates. I think maybe that's outweighing some of the factors you're talking about. Don't poke but me, Julie. Don't poke me.